Hello, welcome back into the studio. My name is Becky, let me turn the lights on. And this is your Bandit Burn session with a, a resistance band. Now if you've got the um, really, really long thin latex ones, I think they're latex, I'm not sure if they're silicon. Latex or silicon, you can double them up, figure of eight it round your legs when we use it. We've got a little bit of a warm up. Now if there is anything that you need to let me know about, anything that's changed medically, physically, um, anything at all, I'm trying to think of, if you've had an injury and you've recovered or you've developed an injury, let me know because I can shout out adaptations to you. So I will be using this band. We're going to be doing a hit. It's 40 on, 20 off. So once the band goes on, they're going to stay on. Now you will need a mat and we're going to be grabbing that. And I think we get to go through this twice, maybe three times if you're really, really lucky. So I'm going to turn the music up. Keep hold of that down for a second. Hopefully you can hear that. I've had a move around because one of my lights is broken. So I've had to set everything up slightly differently. It looks like you can see me okay. Let's roll those shoulders. Oh, got stiff neck. Anybody else got stiff neck? You're going to do the posture thing. We're going to work on our posture today after this. Head down and up. Now we're going to work on this a little bit because when we're focusing on doing the hit, we tend to put tension into our upper body quite a lot. Arm come up. Change sides. Not too much of this, we're just warming up the upper body because the lower body is going to take most of it today. Single step touch. Getting it warm, getting it soft ready, that's all we're doing. We're not doing this with the band at the moment because I want you to get the cardio feel, turn it into a heel dig. Now it's a 40 on, 20 on. Okay, so, and then it's time to 12, and then we've got a minute's rest. Okay, hamstring curl. So we're getting the cardio bit in. Get that warm blood pumping into the muscles. When we're ready to put the band on, you're not going to pull anything. Single touch. Start to pull into the shoulders. Ready? Change it. Heel dig. Now this is a hamstring, yeah? Woo! Look up. Getting ready to go with those bands in a second. We will have heel dig. Somebody telling us what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we don't have to worry about watching the clock. Hamstring curl. V step. Change sides. Double touch. I'm not even bouncing this. Just trying to get that mobility going through your body. I'm going to pick up my band on the way back this time. We're going to put it not where the thigh goes into the knee, not at the insertion point. And we're not putting it right up, round the hip joint and the hip. We're going to put it in the middle. However, heel dig, if the band is very loose on you, Okay, it's really loose. Move it, but what you do need to do is make sure you can feel it. So that when you work with it, you feel that you're pushing against it. Okay, because if it's too loose, you're going to have to break it up and then you're not going to feel it. So if you've got three different ones of different resistance, it can be very handy to chop and change. Step touch. Around. Let's go for it. Here it is. If your injuries or ailments have changed or you have any queries, please remember hamstring curl, get in touch, 
private message me, you don't have to put it on the group message page. Please step. You can do a private message. You can always sort everything out. Need it. Now we're going to be doing some of these with the resistance band. What should happen when you lift your knees? Your pelvis should come with you. So if you're tight in our back, you're going to struggle with this. Okay. Shoulders again. Take them back. Woo! Oh, I need to lift my neck. I need to get to that chiropractor. I need to keep my neck and put it on. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right. Now, grab hold of your band. Get it ready. Is it going to be a twisty Tuesday? Woo! Hope not. Here we go. So we can you see where I'm sitting? It's not too high, but I can feel it sitting on my leg. If I go up here, it's too tight. If it's down there, it's too low. Step back. Feel the difference. Now a lot of people will step touch like this because they don't want to push. But when you're doing your step touch, you should be pushing against it. Feel it? Feel the difference? So you've had your five minute, six minute warm up without it. And now we're doing a little warm up with it so you can check it out. Feel it? Again, you're restricted. That step is immediately restricted. These steps. Woo! There we go. Two sides. Double touch. See the difference? You lose that little bit of cardio. Knee step again. He's going to talk to you in a second, I promise. Can you double touch to the side coming forward? Woo! Single touch is here. This is painful. Double touch back. Single touches here. One more time. Now push the knee. Push from the outside of the leg. I'll show you what tends to happen. Is people go back like this. Because there's no effort there. Three steps. One to each wall. Single step touches. Can you feel the difference? Woo! I can. Left leg knee, B step, B four. Woo! Literally partying with a back. Walk forward. Step touch. Walk back. Step touch. Try not to do the walk back this. I know how it goes. Forward again. So you can do anything. You can do actually a whole aerobics class with one of these on, like um, your little bonus band. Double touch. Okay. Ah. My heart rate's up. Top 70s. Heels. Now if you feel it sliding, so mine's sliding at the back, you give it a point. You know, you make the adjustments you need to, forward and back. We will be doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off times 12, change legs for 60 seconds. March. Right. You've been stepping out your right leg into a squat for your first one. Now I want you to make sure, stay here for a minute, I want you to make sure that you're pushing from here when you step out. Then a little zoom with the bread reaching here, she can step out and then push the knee, you push it out the whole time. 
If your legs are burning already, be proud of yourself. In a rather weird way. Okay? Single knee lift. Right leg only. Check. You're here. Four. You're here. And you're here. Now try if you can not to lift it up with the foot that further. Notice the difference. 90 degree to here. Completely different. Can you use the wall? If you're worried about your balance, are you staring at the floor? Have you got your head up? With your ear back over your shoulders, where your head needs to lift. Hi, Nat. Ooh. Okay, are you ready? Tall, tuck, strong, chin, leg, lift, go. So, remember what I said? So, hand up, 90 degrees, no tucking back right here. Work against that bad, it's such a simple movement. Really easy to cheat it. second, 
You're going to need to get your mat because we're going to go down onto the floor. Okay, they do it really weirdly on here. But if not, we're going to take a lead. In four. four. Narrow swap. Half raise. Now, if you've been a narrow squat and you think, well, I'm not going to feel it, you are, because you're still pushing against it. So, I'm pushing into that band rather than dropping away from it. Woo! Oh, come on. We've got this. Weight's going in that heels. By the way, you can use bands for upper body as well, which we'll probably do at the end if we get a little bit of time. It is the best thing you can do if you're trying to learn to do plank and press ups properly. It really helps you keep this bit here where it needs to be. In four, three, leg two, parts. One. Take a 60 second rest. Four on the other side. Okay, grab that mat. I do wish you'd say that differently. Now don't count me down and then give me a rest. It gets us all confused. Okay, we're going to go down. We're going to do crowns. One each side. We're going to do the whole length of time on one side and then the whole length on the other. So you don't have to try and swizzle round in the workout time. Oh. I had a feeling this early on it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, <laughs> taking it down, bringing your shoulder away, and checking that you've got your hip over your hip. Try if you can. This is comfy, isn't it? You're trying to stay open. Push against the band as much as you can. Well, now push, but I want you to think about your butt. Squeeze. Squeeze. is it does give you time to turn around. Especially if you struggle with moving around. 15 and 10 is a little bit fast. You tend not to get set up. Hip over hip, left shoulder over shoulder. In four, three, Ear over shoulder. Two, one. Dandy wall, you do that, okay. 
Shoulder blades pushing against the mat, chin retracted. Belly pulled tight, waist tight, everything working to support that leg. In four, three, you ready?
where the body just goes, what the heck? I have a cunning feeling today is my right. Lying here. Yeah. You're going to put your feet together. See what you're looking at? Push it out. Pulse. And back. Push out. Pulse. Now, if you can see my feet, they're not rolling. The sole of the foot is staying completely on. Choice. 
but I want you to make sure that you feel that you're grounded. Also, it makes you keep your arms at the right width because you're going to narrow your arms feeling. In four, three, two, one. Okay, so while you're in that plank, if your arms drop in, you lose the back. If your head drops down, it cuts into here. If your body drops down, it cuts into this bit. So trying to hold that plank is going to hold that line. Okay? Knee plank first.
Okay, so what I want you to remember is you've got to pull in your core and tuck your bum under as well. But at least the back takes away your thinking about the arm.
very leg heavy this week, but you know it's nice to chop and change it around. Hopefully I'll see you back in here really soon. Top of the this morning, little posture clinic. Other than that, I'll see you for any of your other classes. Thank you for joining me, thank you for continuing to support me, and I will see you safe and sound as soon as possible.